Hi guys, so this is really not an easy word for me to put out. It's very hard putting out certain words. Um, and I received this very detailed word last night. God mentioned these words to me exactly. And he even mentioned a heart, ge I'm not heart gesture. He mentioned a hand gesture. Like basically he went like this, going towards his heart like that to let me know that is the reasoning behind it. So let me tell you how everything started. Yesterday, I pulled into my garage. I sat in my car for a little bit because I like to do that. And um, it's my little quiet time with the Holy Spirit. And as I was sitting in the car, I heard him whisper, tested. And then I was going to post a video because I kind of figured I knew what he was talking about because I just posted a video the day prior talking about God was testing their hearts towards you. So I, th I, th I thought this was more like additional details at the moment. And I was going to I was going to post it. And God said to wait. And I said, okay, I'm going to wait. Now, you know why he said to wait, but I just waited. So last night now, dozing off, the Lord said there's going to be a transition in purpose. A transition. These are the exact words. A transition in purpose. And then he said authority. And then he said, again, tested. Bring me back to tested. And then he, I'm like, God, what's the cause of all this? And he went like this. And then he said, write it down. He actually, he actually was like, write it down. Okay, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna write it down. Because usually I forget to write it down. I just, I just rely on my memory. And he, I know it's, it's a very not so good thing to do. Um, but when you're tired, sometimes you just don't, you know, but he was stern with me to write it down. So I knew he was very serious. And he said it in a very serious way. Okay. I just want to say that there's a lot of children of God who are upcoming, as in there's a lot of seers who never knew they were seers. Whereas, for instance, you went your whole life not being able to see in the spirit and then boom, out of nowhere, God blesses you and you're able to see in the spirit. Um, you may not have heard the voice of God before and then all of a sudden now you're able to hear the voice of God. So you had no idea that you were even called to walk with God and then God called you. And the thing about it is there's people that looked down upon you as you're walking with God. And you were an undercover child of God. So when you finally came out of the wilderness and you came out to the forefront, whether it's on a platform, whether it's in a church, whether it's just you just came out in general, people know you're a child of God now because you may have spoke about it or whatever, but God has put you in the forefront and you have been rejected from other people who are also called. God is not too pleased with that. He is not happy with that. The message I put out the other day, God was testing their hearts towards you. This message is additional confirmation. And I'm getting emotional talking about this because the way God said it, it was like, whoa. There is a transition in purpose for many people. The last will be first and the first will be last. There is a transition in purpose. What does God mean by transition and purpose? A lot of people, God originally gave them a position, an authority position. That's why he said authority. God has already given them an authority position, leadership. And they were not responsible with their leadership. In fact, they were not being leaders. In fact, they were not good here in the heart. The authority position that they were in got to their heads. They started feeling superior. They started feeling like they were better than everybody. They started looking down at the upcoming children of God, the upcoming prophets. And what do I mean by upcoming? A baby prophet, baby seer, somebody who is starting their walk with God. They're extremely anointed, extremely anointed but they're learning and when you're upcoming and you're learning 
and there is someone that God has placed in a leadership or a priority, uh, not priority, authority position, they are supposed to welcome you with open arms. Even if they're not the ministry or they're not the person to help you, because anybody God can God's not just talking about ministries, because you can be put in an authority position in the kingdom of God, and you can be a nurse or you can be a doctor or you can be an employee, and that's why I posted that video um, a couple of days ago. God was testing their hearts towards you, and I was talking about how somebody was supposed to give you an opportunity and somebody was supposed to help you, but because of the, their competitive spirit because their heart was not good intentions was not good they looked down upon you they were threatened by you they chose not to give you the opportunity right and they thought by not giving you the opportunity they were sabotaging you they thought that it would stop you from achieving what it is that you're supposed to achieve but god said no because he is the foundation he is the foundation and their bricks the bricks that build the the house their parts of the bricks those three bricks or two bricks that were missing did not make the house collapse do you see what i'm saying so that was the message the other day but these individuals like i said doesn't have to be ministry god was testing them and you know what god told me last night you were their test you were their test you were their test they had specific instructions. Disobedience. They had specific instructions. And the instructions was to either help you. The instructions was to either love you. The instructions was to appreciate you. I don't know what the instructions exactly were, but they were not supposed to look down upon you. They were not supposed to have bitterness in their heart towards you. There was not supposed to be jealousy towards you. There was not supposed to be any negative feelings towards you. And many of them, not all, but many of them who are walking with God or who um, are alert in the spirit, God has corrected them and has instructed them to apologize to you and they didn't. They were disobedient. They did not apologize. Why? Pride. Pride. And many of them, they could not let the envy and the jealousy go. It ate them up. And what they didn't realize was you were their test. You were their test. So I don't know what position that you're in, but whatever position that you're in, that you have been consistently rejected from the very people that claim to love God, whether they judged you, whether they slandered you, whether they lied on you, whether they looked down upon you, whatever happened that confirmed they were not right in the heart, they are being judged right now. God said there is a transition in purpose, which means that God is literally transitioning them to a different position, which means that the last will be first and the first will be last. God is removing people from authority positions because they did not do what they were supposed to do in their leadership. Examples of this is Saul, the way he treated David, and Solomon being disobedient to God. You see what I'm saying? So I just want to say that this is a confirmation to many of you. And God is literally going to exalt the very children in this season that have been looked down upon. That have been looked down upon. And a lot of the people that have looked down upon you, they're being judged right now. And um, it's because of their hearts. It's because of their heart. Their heart was not clean. Their heart was not clean. You were their test. You were their test. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.